Hello everybody and welcome to the 2017 Foreign Nancy Drew Games Marathon. This is Nancy Drew, La Creature de Capu Cave. So it's Creature of Capu Cave, the 15th Nancy Drew game, and I'm playing it in French. Okay, let's start with uh, a new game. Salut, c'est moi, Nancy Drew. Puisque le meilleur moyen de se présenter, c'est de montrer où on vit, je me suis dit que je commencerais par ma chambre. Comme tu peux le voir, elle est plutôt bien rangée. Évidemment, je n'y suis pas souvent puisque je passe mon temps à résoudre des mystères. En tout cas, voici ma base d'opération. Mon bureau. Vas-y, tu peux fouiner un peu. Si tu veux savoir précisément... I have no idea what Nancy's saying. I think it's just an intro to the game in general. Ah, and whoever is mowing their lawn is very loud right now. Thank you. Alrighty, so uh, kind of a weird story uh, with this live stream here. Uh, you know, I have the baby all weekend. It's just me and the baby alone. And so I did a poll on Twitter saying, hey everybody, should I do the live stream next week? Or, or should I just try to stream whenever the baby's asleep? So, everybody hates babies, apparently, and they said, go ahead, do it when Rosie's asleep. Come on, come on, live stream, you, you wimp. <laughs> so, uh, this live stream is going to be kind of erratic. It's probably going to get stopped partway through when the baby wakes up and starts screaming, because she's actually teething now. Uh, one, her uh, bottom tooth in the front actually is kind of popping through. It, it, it hasn't popped through very uh, far, like, less than a millimeter but you can definitely see it you can definitely feel it and so she's screaming a lot more than normal and uh so yeah just a heads up this live stream could stop at any point in time just as soon as rosie wakes up that's as soon as i stop playing okay so this mystery is Go to Hawaii, woo, and pass uh, three weeks to travel to Dr. Gwigley Kim, an entomologist. Yay, an entomologist who is, uh, I'm going to be her assistant to help go across the land to the big island, a friend of dad announced and thought of me. I don't know how to pay, obviously, and I don't know anything uh, about certainly what's implied by travel the land, but whoever studies insects, more than a billet of a bird, uh, more than a plane bill, pays and she travels under an extremely beautiful android on the planet. You know, I'm just making up this translation here, but, um, yeah, this, this works. Okay, so this will, okay, so I've choose my iniquity. Uh-oh, that is, doesn't that mean like evilness or something? Anyway, as part of my travels, uh, something which I'm going to come to my coach at the airport, Dr. Kim, has given a bus, which is very pretty little village on Sudkow. And then uh, she's giving me a census to pretend the clues of the, ve the keys of the vehicle are... Uh, um, are given to a chef of a certain Big Island Mike who runs Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursion. Uh, after he gives me, uh, I'll be led, letting me to the camp in the plain and a couple of miles into the jungle. That's very well, but it could be dangerous. And even in a tropical paradise, what will happen when I arrive? N.D. I'm sure everybody who knows French is just rolling around screaming at this point, but I'm just guessing. Okay, so should we start the game? We oui or no? I think we. Oui. Okay, so am I a débutant or a confirmé? It looks like the individu can continue beaucoup de art de indi. Okay, 
So, um, the debutante game contains beaucoup, merci beaucoup, a little bit de all of aid and a little bit of help in dindexes, which are like indexes, except they're louder. So, oh, somebody says volcano. Oh, Côte de Sud could be South Coast and Volcano Goddess. That's what I was reading about Volcano Goddesses. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, no, when I was in college, I took Greek and Latin. I, I majored in ancient languages, which is not a very good major. It's not great for getting jobs, but you can pretend you know French having never studied it before. I, I could just tell you what words are after speaking like these three three languages. Okay, so confirm a, uh, okay, I've got to vote for um, junior mode and senior mode. Okay, confirm it. Okay, three votes for confirm it. Dr. Quigley's camp and the National Volcanic Park of Hawaii. in the camp. And there's a tape recorder. Okay, so the excursion immersion immersion excursion of Big Island Mike. So I think what we need to do is uh, you can get an excursion of immersion of Big Island Mike. An experiment, I think that's experience. What is the unique system essaye et tuque to live and to learn the ancient Hawaiian traditions. I have no idea what S A A and True Que are though. I I just that's those words mean nothing to me. Okay, so let's meet Big Island Mike. On descend juste du bus, hein? Si vous cherchez d'authentiques vacances hawaïennes, vous êtes au bon endroit. <laughs> okay, this is his French voice. À vrai dire, je cherche quelqu'un qui s'appelle Big Island Mike. C'est moi. Vous êtes seul? Pas vraiment. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. Bon, juste au cas où la personne qui vous a indiqué cet endroit ne vous a pas fait un topo, voilà. Si vous venez chez Big Island Mike, vous vivez comme un vrai Hawaïen. Vous travaillez comme eux et vous jouez comme eux. Pas de trucs de touristes. Avec moi, c'est de l'authentique. Alors, vous êtes un peu un agent de voyage Moi, je suis comme un tailleur. Sauf que je ne fais pas de vêtements. Je fais des vacances. De vraies vacances hawaïennes, authentiques, sur mesure, pour vous et rien que pour vous. Si vous aimez la plage, je vous emmène à la plage. Mais je vous donnerai aussi des choses à faire. Des occupations que les vrais Hawaïens font depuis des millénaires. Et vous vous amuserez en même temps. Je vous assure. En fait, il y a une paire de jeunes gars de votre âge qui sont ici. Ils viennent du continent eux aussi. Je les ai fait surfer, ramasser des coquillages, pêcher, plonger, tout. Si vous venez, vous aussi vous ferez tout. Et peut-être même avec eux, hein all right, so Big Island Mike is trying to sell Nancy his super fantastic vacation package. He says there's some hot guys who are who are here, and I think he's actually talking about himself. Big Island Mike thinks he's mighty hot. Intéressant, mais je suis juste venu chercher des clés de voiture. Ah, c'est vous, la vaille qui vient étudier les insectes dans la jungle avec le docteur Kim. Et vous allez les ramasser et les mettre dans des bocaux. Hmm, okay, so people in the chat... Uh, oh, by the way, I'm live-streaming this, in case I didn't mention it. So people in the chat are saying they're, they're talking about different languages they speak, like Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, French, German, uh, Canadian. I speak American myself. Je ne pense pas que le Dr. Kim me fasse faire des choses trop dégoûtantes. Hein? Il vaut mieux travailler avec le Dr. Kim Kaili. 
Le docteur qui est là-bas, il fait travailler les gens sur des choses bien pires que les insectes. Ah, and he's saying the hilly hilly insect doctor is kind of weird, I think. Hilly hilly? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Le centre de recherche hilly hilly. Tout ce qui s'y passe est très mystérieux. Les gens qui travaillent à hilly hilly ne restent jamais longtemps. Et quand ils partent, ils ne disent rien. Yeah, so hilly hilly, a mysterious research facility, will definitely go there, because this is a mystery game. Il me semble que je suis censé prendre une clé chez vous. Le docteur Kim vous a réservé un de mes véhicules. La clé est juste là, mais... Mais vous savez quoi, je ne vais pas vous la donner. Okay, so I think I remember this line of dialogue in English. It's like, yeah, Dr. Kim reserved a vehicle. The key is the key. I got the key right here. But you know what? I'm not gonna give it to you. You're not? Ah non? Une excursion de Big Island Mike. Hey, Big Island Mike immersion excursion beats being with a bug doctor any day. Je ne vais pas aller à la plage, ramasser des coquillages pour me faire un collier avec. Mettez les coquillages que vous trouvez là-dedans. Fabriquez-moi un collier à l'oie. Il y a un exemple sur la table dont on se sert pour les faire. I don't know why my Big Island Mike talks with a New York accent, but apparently he does, okay. Mais... Je devrais vraiment aller voir le Dr. Kim comme c'était prévu. Faites le collier et je vous donne la clé. Mais vous savez quoi Vous n'en voudrez plus Vous allez marcher sur la plage, chercher des coquillages, vous asseoir pour les enfiler. Vous serez tellement détendu que vous allez revenir me dire « Vous aviez raison, Big Island Mike. Je laisse tomber les insectes. Je veux m'inscrire. Vous verrez. » Ok, so Big Island Mike, he's saying « Hey, Nancy, you need to not look at that. You need to look at this. » He says « You need to make me... » A shell necklace, and it's gonna be so fantastic. You're gonna love the necklaces, you're gonna love Hawaii, it's gonna be so great, you're gonna take my amazing vacation, and you ain't you ain't gonna be in the villa you ain't gonna be hanging out with bug doctors, you're gonna be hanging out with me. I think it's like pay and play, maybe. Anyway, he's got Big Island Bucks. So, um, yeah, you need Big Island Bucks in order to uh, play games. That's a cute game. Okay, anyway. Can I just run away? Okay, she's saying she can't run away. Well, fine, let's just... Go to the beach, collect shells. Oh, hey, by the way. Mmm, ice cream. Uh, shaved ice, though. Let's see, this is a puzzle, unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, it's a crazy puzzle. And I believe this is the, uh, the station where I make the necklaces. Okay, so let's go. Let's go here. This is where Big Island Mike's Big Island Daughter hangs out. So she's a she's a surfer surfer goddess and she's out surfing right now, apparently. Okay, so we've gotta go to the beach, find some shells, build the shell necklace, and who are those hot guys on the beach? Hello? Ned! Salut Quel timing Je viens d'arriver. En fait, je suis sur la plage. L'entomologue est sur la plage Non, je dois ramasser des coquillages et en faire un collier pour pouvoir avoir les clés qu'elle m'a laissées. Enfin, c'est compliqué. J'aimerais être avec toi, crois-moi. Il n'a pas arrêté de pleuvoir depuis que je t'ai déposé à l'aéroport. Le ciel est uniformément gris. Même si tu étais là avec moi, ce serait déprimant. Mais sans toi, c'est un déprimant. C'est pas vrai. Tu ne vas pas croire ça, mais Franck et Joe Hardy sont ici. Quoi Tu es sûr Certaine. Bon, je te rappelle plus tard, d'accord Mais... Bye Nancy Qu'est-ce que tu fais là Je viens d'arriver. Pendant deux semaines, je vais travailler sur le terrain avec cet entomologiste dont papa a entendu parler. Qu'est-ce que vous fabriquez ici On est arrivé hier. Crois-le ou non, mais nous sommes en mission. Joe, va Richard et Kens, les Kens Biotech, ils nous ont engagés pour faire une enquête sur Kouamapu et son père. Poua est une surfeuse qui monte dans les compétitions internationales. Lui, il a une petite entreprise locale qui s'appelle les excursions d'immersion de Big Island. C'est pas vrai. 
Je dois aller chercher une voiture chez Big Island Mike. Pourquoi est-ce que ce Ekens fait une enquête Il veut utiliser toi dans une campagne publicitaire pour un de ses produits. Il veut s'assurer qu'il n'y a pas de squelette dans le placard des Mapu avant de lui faire une offre. Comme elle donne des leçons de surf pour son père, on s'est inscrit dans une de ses excursions d'immersion pour faire connaissance et s'assurer qu'elle est aussi irréprochable qu'elle en a l'air. Et Ekens s'est dit que quelqu'un qui aurait à peu près le même âge qu'elle pourrait en apprendre plus qu'un quelconque privé. Donc, en fait, vous êtes payé pour être en vacances à Hawaï et apprendre à surfer. C'est bien ça Ne t'en fais pas. Dès qu'une opportunité se présente, on part à fond dans l'investigation intensive. Nous aussi. Oui. Ekens veut qu'on s'assure que l'affaire des Mapou est irréprochable elle aussi. Mais ce type ne quitte jamais son bureau. Du coup, pour l'instant, on n'a pas pu aller fouiner dans ses papiers. Alors, comme ça, tu vas travailler pour une entomologiste Ouais. Juste moi, le docteur Kim et quelques milliers de ses amis insectes, là-bas, dans la jungle. Fais attention à Kani Okala. Oh, Joe. Attention à qui Kani Okala, ça veut dire homme à la peau rugueuse en hawaïen. D'après la légende, c'est un type qui a été à moitié brûlé dans un volcan il y a un ou deux millénaires. Et maintenant, dès qu'un grand malheur survient sur l'île, les gens prétendent l'avoir aperçu dans la jungle. C'est qu'il n'aime pas les gens qui abîment son île, tu vois, alors il fait des ravages. Apparemment, il a un tempérament aussi rugueux que sa peau. Et on n'arrête pas de l'apercevoir en ce moment. Sûrement à cause des ananas. Qu'est-ce qu'ils ont, les ananas Les ananas poussent si mal de ce côté de l'île que les gens disent qu'il n'y aura peut-être même pas de récolte locale cette année. Mais personne ne sait pourquoi. Quelque chose me dit que Kanye et Kala pourraient nous en dire plus. Joe Si, bien sûr, il existe, ce qui n'est évidemment pas le cas. Content, Franck Bon, je serais mieux d'y aller. Bonne chance, les gars. J'ai mon portable, alors on garde le contact. Toi aussi en fait, si tu as besoin de quoi que ce soit ici, nourriture, produits de beauté, anti-monstres, appelle-nous quand tu veux, ok Ok, bye. Bye. A plus, Nancy. Ok, wow, I, I didn't realize they would just talk for a long time and then I wouldn't be able to say anything without interrupting. Ok, so Nancy was talking to Ned, they were having fun, when all of a sudden she sees the Hardy Boys, Frank and Joe, they are here to solve a mystery. They've got two mysteries, like, uh... The bananas are dying. I think he meant pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. The pineapples are dying. And uh, also, uh, somebody wants to hire Surfer Girl as a, a spokesmodel for their product. So they just want the Hardy Boys to observe her, make sure she's not up to anything criminal. Well, the Hardy Boys do love examining beautiful women. So, of course, they took the job. So yeah, they're now here in Hawaii learning how to surf and, 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 and they're getting paid to do it. It's amazing. Alrighty, so Nancy just needs to go off the beach here and find all sorts of them little um, shells. Yeah, Anna's is pineapple. It's gotta be, because that's... Um, same as Spanish, I believe. Yeah, I, I, ooh, Hawaiian music. Anyway, I think maybe I've got everything. That's basically it. Um, Nancy's phone. Okay. Should Nancy call her boyfriend back and say, Hi, 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 Ned, sorry, I saw hot guys and I immediately had to hang up on you because they're hot. They're like super hot. Super, super hot. I'm sorry. Just, just. <laughs> Alrighty. So why did Frank start off the conversation by talking to her with a with an American accent? I don't know. These are questions I do not know the answer to. I do not know them. Do you? Okay, let's make this necklace. No necklace. And if I make it without really trying, it would be a feckless necklace. Voilà, magnifique. Ah, je vais donner ça à Monsieur Mapou et continuer ma route. Okay, somebody says I should call. 
call Nancy's boyfriend back. And Nancy goes clamming or looking for shells. It's basically the exact same thing. If Nancy makes some cool stuff, like cool necklaces, she can get Big Island bucks and buy these Big Island stuff. You know, Big Island things. The problem is, it generally seems to take forever for uh, you to be able to get enough shells. I mean, you saw how many shells I needed to make the smallest necklace, the cheapest necklace? Um, it, it took me like 12 shells. So, uh, finding, finding enough shells is definitely going to be pretty tough. I'll take a look here again, see if there are any more shells that I missed. Ooh, there's a big one. Big Island Mike's Big Island Shells. And there's only like three or so areas that you can look in. Okay? So like, there. There. If you go much farther, you're just gonna get in trouble. Okay, so let's call Ned. Call Ned, call him back. Hello? Salut Ned. Désolé de t'avoir accroché au nez tout à l'heure. Tu ne vas pas le croire, mais j'ai vu les frères Hardy. Ils sont là aussi. Sans blague. Que font-ils Il vaut mieux que je n'en parle pas. J'imagine que ça n'a rien à voir avec les insectes. Non, pas vraiment. Alors qu'est-ce que tu fais Le docteur Kim m'a réservé une voiture chez ce type qui se fait appeler Big Island Mike. Il m'a l'air d'un sacré numéro. Pas de doute là-dessus. Il refusait de me donner les clés de la voiture tant que je ne lui avais pas fait un collier de coquillages. Ce n'est pas juste un sacré numéro. Il lui manque une case. Il voulait juste me donner un aperçu de ses excursions d'immersion. C'est comme ça qu'il appelle les vacances authentiques qu'il organise pour les gens. D'accord. I have no idea what they said at all. I think she said that she she's got a car. C'est tout pour le moment. Tu es en courant, hein? Oui, chef. Salut, Ned. Oui, chef. Ned is a chef now. Oh, so that's what Ned does when Nancy's on the uh, vacation solving mysteries. He's cooking food. And yeah, Nancy does not apologize for saying she cares more about Frank and Joe than Ned. Sorry, Ned. Frank and Joe are hotter than you, and I care more about them. But I'm not going to apologize, because I'm Nancy. You have been called. Joe Hardy. And who? Frank Hardy. Mais nous ne sommes pas disponibles. Merci de laisser un message après le bip. Salut les gars, c'est Nancy. Je vous rappelle plus tard. Salut. Okay, well, it looks like they're not here. Oh, hey, there's a guide on how to use a phone. In case you don't know how phones work. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Actually, give me a test. second here. Un, deux, trois, test. We can change the color. Uh, let's go with hibiscus. Test. Un, deux, trois. Yeah. Yeah, that is a lot of pink. That is that is definitely enough pink for one Argyle thump. Yeah, I seem to be finding a fair amount of shells. Let's try again. You guys like that pink? Yes, phones. How do they work? I don't know. Yeah, basically no no more shells. So let's go back. Let's see. Do I have enough shells to make a necklace? Yeah, no, I totally do not. Um, yeah, I'll need twice as many shells in order to make a necklace to get four Big Island bucks. So, uh, Nancy's just gonna leave here. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Here's your necklace. Désolé, c'était mon idée, c'est mon collier. Mais la clé du véhicule, elle est à vous. Okay, so he, he, yeah, Nancy's like, hey, can I get some of those Big Island bucks for the necklace? And he's like, nope, it was my idea, so it's my necklace. And also, Nancy, here's Kane Okala. Ce type à la peau rugueuse? Qu'est-ce qu'il a? Ce sont les gens d'Ili Hili. Ils font des choses que Kane Okala n'aime pas. C'est pourquoi il revient. N'écoutez pas les gens qui disent que ce n'est qu'une légende. 
It's that weird evil stuff they're doing at Healy Healy. It's caused the evil Kane Kala to come back and curse the land. People think he's just a legend, but he's real. Je m'en souviendrai. Vraiment. J'espère que je ne vais pas le regretter. Le véhicule est devant. Il y a un GPS et tout. Le campement du Dr. Kim est déjà indiqué devant. On m'a dit qu'il se passait des choses bizarres avec les ananas cette année. Vous en avez entendu parler C'est Healy Healy. Quoi qu'il passe là-haut, ça va ruiner les plantations d'ananas. Les journaux savent la vérité. Ils ont juste trop peur des avocats d'Ili Ili pour la publier. Bon, ravi de vous avoir rencontré. Mahalo. Okay, and Nancy is just saying, hey, 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 what's up with these evil, I mean, what's up with the failing pineapple crop? And he's like, it's Healy Healy. Il vous faut autre chose? Bon, ravi de vous avoir rencontré. Mahalo. I don't think at this point Nancy can, uh, yeah, I don't think Nancy can go for shells anymore. I think, you know, if we go back, there will be no more seashells. So I'm just going to check here. Just in case, I like my seashells, and yeah, I can't zoom in on any of the seashell areas. Okay, then let's just go to the jungle and meet Dr. Quim and work with her insect bug things. Yeah, so I mean, Big Island Mike was basically there to waste Nancy's time and force her to, to do these chores and everything. It's like, come on, Big Island Mike, be a Big Island hero instead of a Big Island jerk. Like, seriously, if Nancy had, like, stood up for herself and been a little bit more forceful and not let that guy boss her around, she probably could have gotten here way sooner. And there goes the bridge. That, that is, that is bad. Also bad. Dans le fossé, super. Bon, j'espère que le Dr. Kim pourra m'aider à la sortir de là. Also bad, uh, okay, so Nancy's, Nancy's, uh, car, she's basically stuck on this half of the island because the only bridge got destroyed. And also bad, her car got trapped in a ditch. And also bad... What? Phone call? Salut Nancy, c'est Joe. Écoute, Big Island Mike a entendu à la radio que le pont qui mène au campement de Miss Bestiole vient de s'affaisser. Alors j'espère que tu auras ce message avant d'arriver là-bas. Parce que si tu as déjà traversé le pont, on dirait que tu pourras... He's basically telling her that the bridge is destroyed and they're trapped on this half of the island. Si tu as besoin de mon aide ou de celle de Franck, tu n'as qu'à demander. Bonne journée. Donc, en plus d'être dans un fossé, je suis coincé dans la jungle. Bah, au moins je ne suis pas toute seule. Enfin, je ne le serai pas quand j'aurai trouvé le Dr. King. Oh là là, quel chantier Que s'est-il passé ici Et où est le Dr. Kim <laughs> Alright, so now Nancy is like, oh my gosh, this place has been trapped and destroyed. What happened to Dr. Kim Where is she And I think we need to use this to bring Nancy's car up. It's basically a magical thing. It's a crochet, so Nancy is going to knit herself a blanket, which pulls the car out. Dr. Kim? Vous êtes là? Bonjour! Y'a quelqu'un? Dr. Kim? Oh, and there's no power to this thing, is La radio there? Pas yep, radio's dead. Allo, y'a quelqu'un? Allo, allo. Nancy, bienvenue. Utilisez cette radio pour m'appeler sur cette fréquence. 18.305. QK. 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 Okay, that's cute. Okay, so I think in order to fix the radio, I need to fix the. Toujours dans le fossé. The power, which I think is this cell. Un panneau solaire. On dirait que c'est ça qui alimente la radio. Hmm. Certaines des cellules photovoltaïques sont manquantes. Uh oh. Okay. So 
Princess Jessie has a joke. She's saying, French people only use one egg in their omelets. To them, one egg is enough. That, that, that is amazing. That is great. Okay, so I think we've got a couple of puzzles here. Um, that is a monster puzzle which we will solve later. Uh, I think we need to find the... Uh, this is, uh, that is also part of the giant puzzle. If I recall correctly, we just need to find this! Okay, let's hear what Dr. Kim sounds like. You guys ready to hear what Dr. Kim sounds like? I am. Do I press button? Okay, I rewind, and then I play. Let's go. Gonna skip here. There's one particular note that she makes, which is important. It's, it has like beep 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 blah blah ba doop da bop in the background. So that's the one we need to listen to. Here we go. Blee blah blee blue blah blue 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 blee blah blah blue blee blah. Yeah, Dr. Quigley Kim sounds normal here. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Quigley Kim sounds normal. Her French name is Quigley, not Quigley. Is her name Quigley or Quigley? I don't... Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we talk to her. Anyway, that musical note uh, will help us solve this puzzle. Basically, it's the combination to her little safe. So it looks like it's going to be this one. No, that's not it. Cool. So here's her note. So this is Dr. Craven. She's got notes on Dr. Craven, who runs uh, the Hilly Hilly. He runs a blog. He likes solar energy. And apparently she's got a phone number for Chicago. Okay. Hey, I just said okay, Nancy. You can't say okay, too. And a security card for the Hilly Hilly. Alright, so what we're going to do here is use that random thing we found to fix the car. In order to fix the radio, we got to get solar panel call, uh, solar panels from Dr. Dr. Craven, I think his name is. Malachi Craven, yay! Yay! Okay, so then Nancy drives from the Quigley camp to the Hilly Hilly Research Facility. So where exactly is the bridge that prevents Nancy from going back to Big Island Mike's? Because I don't see anything that would be like a bridge anywhere. No, really, I don't. Anyway, Hilly Hilly Research Center. Uh, only 
unauthorized personnel. Bonjour. Écoutez, j'ai trouvé ce passe et je me demandais si. Je crains de devoir vous demander de lever les mains. Lever les mains Qui êtes-vous Où avez-vous eu ce passe uh, Hey, okay, so this is Dr. Craven and he is mad because Nancy has that security pass and she doesn't actually work here. Also, Dr. Craven shouts all the time. Je préfère me taire tant que vous ne m'aurez pas dit qui vous êtes. Je suis Malaki Craven, évidemment. Je dirige ce complexe. À présent, que faisiez-vous avec ce pass Je l'ai trouvé. Où mmh. Au campement du Dr. Kim. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. Je suis la stagiaire du Dr. Kim. C'est mon premier jour aujourd'hui. J'ai ce pass parce que lorsque je suis arrivée, le campement du Dr. Kim était sans dessus dessous et elle était introuvable. Alors j'ai fouillé dans ses affaires pour trouver un indice qui me mette sur sa piste. J'ai pensé que comme elle avait ce pass, quelqu'un ici pourrait me dire où elle se trouve. Eh bien, vous avez mal pensé. Et pour votre information, ce pass a été signalé comme perdu. Elle l'a probablement volé il y a des semaines. Alors vous ne savez pas où elle est Vous vous croyez où À un bureau des personnes disparues C'est un complexe de recherche privée à l'accès hautement sécurisé. D'accord, ça suffit. Pardon Vous vous acharnez sur moi alors que je n'ai fait que vous dire la vérité. Je sais qui vous êtes, Docteur Craven. Je sais que vous êtes un scientifique extraordinaire dont le travail n'a jamais été apprécié à sa juste valeur. En fait, en tant qu'amatrice d'horticulture, je donnerais n'importe quoi pour savoir ce que vous faites avec les plantes qui sont là. Mais être un génie ne vous donne pas le droit d'être grossier. Oh, je suis désolé, mademoiselle. Tout ce que vous avez dit est exact ou presque. Surtout en ce qui concerne mon génie. Comment me connaissez-vous So Nancy just told him off. Uh, she basically said, just because you're a genius doesn't give you the right to be a jerk. And then he apologized. And she says his blog is amazing, and she loves science. She's basically making him like her by saying, by pretending she knew who he was before five minutes ago. Je lis beaucoup. Comme je vous le disais, j'adore les sciences. Si vous vous intéressez à l'horticulture, pourquoi aller assister une entomologiste? If you're interested in horticulture, why are you helping an entomologist? Elle est l'ami de l'ami d'un ami, en gros. Et... Quand on m'a dit qu'il y avait un vol gratuit pour Hawaï à la clé... Bien pensé Hey, free trip to Hawaii, I would do that. Except I work here, so I guess I wouldn't do that. Okay, so we're gonna ask him for the uh, solar panels, right? J'ai un besoin urgent de cellules photovoltaïques pour réparer un panneau solaire au campement. Et je sais que vous êtes très favorable à l'énergie solaire. Alors, je me suis dit, vous n'auriez pas neuf cellules en trop par hasard J'ai une idée. I have an idea. I'll give you the cells if you do my chores for me. Really? Okay, so he wants me to find 12 viable seeds from his little plant thingy over there. I forget the reason why he can't do it himself. I think it's because he's lazy. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get viable seeds, everybody. So what do viable seeds look like? Give me just one moment. I want to make sure viable seeds have a brown splotch on them. Okay. So I already got a wrong one. I'm so bad at this. So viable seeds. Yeah, we gotta get these viable seeds. So who doesn't know Dr. Craven? He is, he is amazing. He's like number one. And he is start Craven mad, I like to say, because all he does is shout all day. I don't know why I'm rhyming all of a sudden. I like to shout, shout, shout. I like to shout, shout, shout. I like to shout, shout, shout. Shout at trespassers. Yeah, this says they're brown with a distinct uh, white 
distinct white thing. Il faut que je rapporte les graines que j'ai avant d'aller en chercher d'autres. He's allergic? He says he's allergic. Ah, oh, that's probably right. I, I hope I don't get in trouble for um, getting one seed which is not viable. He, he, if he sends me to do the entire thing over again, it's going to be sad. Hey, there's his jacket. Okay, Nancy's saying, I can't steal his stuff right in front of him. He'll be mad. Nancy, just pretend you're trying to put on his jacket because it's awesome looking. He won't notice. He's, he's, he won't notice. Look, he's not even paying attention. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm finished. No, no, no. Il n'y a pas douze graines fiables là-dedans. Retournez-y. Et faites ça correctement. Go back and do it again. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what's this? On peut pas l'ouvrir avec ça. These are puzzles, right? What was that? This is what happens when you turn on lights next to rocks. That's what happens when you let the dinosaurs loose and they kill everyone. This is what happens when plants dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I always wonder what this green stuff is. It's so cool looking. I just have no idea what it is. Is, is it just a giant lava lamp? Is that the whole purpose of this facility? So Dr. Craven can have a lava lamp to help him go to sleep. Okay, so do I need to get 12 more seeds? I think I do I need to get 12 more of these seeds. Get that one out of the way. Almost done. I don't think you're supposed to click in the same basic area twice. Yeah, that seemed to work. Voilà. Oh. Clicking in the same area twice seems to work. Yeah, somebody says Dr. Craven looks like a villain from a, a James Bond movie. He kind of does. I, I would totally see him as the mad scientist who tried to take over the world with dancing flowers and dinosaurs. Okay, those are our uh, lockers. We'll break into one of them later on because we're no respecter of privacy. And this is a sortie. Hey, Nobody's allowed to come in here without a protective suit is what the guy said. So that's their magical plant area where they're growing magical plants. Terminé. Fini. Très bien. Yay! Chose Perfect. Chose Dites à Olson de mettre une boîte de cellules photovoltaïques à trois dans le véhicule de Mademoiselle Drew dès que possible. Tout de suite, Dr. Craven. Hélas, malgré la destruction de ces petits démons verts, il semble que les démons gésants vont continuer pendant quelque temps encore. Vous ne pourriez pas prendre quelque chose contre ça Je me suis fait prescrire un antihistaminique, mais j'ai peur que ça m'endorme et m'empêche de travailler. Ok, I think he's saying that, um, you know, his doctor prescribed an antihistamine for his allergies, but it makes him too sleepy to get any work done. I just remember that because this will become important later on when we force feed him antihistamines in order to make him fall asleep so we can rob him. Yeah, we we are just not good people here in uh, Nancy Drew games. Pourquoi pensez-vous que le docteur Kim a volé le passe de sécurité? Euh, je me suis juste un peu emporté. Je n'ai évidemment aucune raison de suspecter ce brave docteur d'une quelconque activité criminelle. Uh, oh, criminal activities. And he's saying, okay, I didn't mean to insult Dr. Kim. There's no reason to accuse her of criminal activities. And when I say we are bad people, I mean we because 
Nancy is going to play, uh, there are multiple characters we play as. We're going to play as the Hardy Boys, everyone. Vous avez déjà rencontré le Dr. Kim? Possible. So uh, that's actually going to come up here in just a moment. As soon as I'm finished with all this Nancy stuff, we switch over to Frank and or Joe. I forget which Hardy Boy we play as first. Oh, and he works for a mysterious employer who keeps their identity secret. Now, Nancy, I know you're very passionate about plants and you think I'm the hottest uh, horticulturalist in the entire world, but I can't tell you everything. Oh, oh, baby, did you guys hear that? That is baby screaming. So, thank you very much for watching this uh, live stream, everyone. We're going to... We're gonna cut here. We're gonna end the, end here. I'll come back later uh, the next time the baby falls asleep today. Here is the baby, by the way. I, I'm not lying. I do have a baby. Yay! So I, I can't live stream with the baby because she'll do this. She'll just run her hands all over my computer keyboard and, and grab my mouse and try to eat it. <laughs> and so uh, that's why I have to, to, to put the walkthrough on hold. Uh, you know, uh, quit hitting my keyboard. Uh, put the walkthrough on hold uh, until the baby is asleep again. And I'm back, everybody. So where were we? We were talking to Dr. Craven, right? Yes, okay, okay. So, um... I don't know what he's talking about now. Oh gosh, I, I've totally forgotten. It's uh, been about three hours since I uh, last uh, recorded. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been three hours and I've totally forgotten everything. I seem to remember we got the... Uh, we got the solar cells from this guy. It looks like we're finished talking to him. And so now we're going to go back to the camp and uh, just use those solar cells. We're going to use the solar cells uh, at the camp in order to fix uh, Dr. Quigley's little device. And that's that's where we are, right, everyone? Cool. So run, 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 run away. Go here. Krollmeister, Navigazing Technology. Okay, back to Camp Quigley. L'emplacement des nouvelles cellules doit avoir un rapport avec les nombres indiqués dessus. Lequel? I don't know how we solve this puzzle in French. <laughs> um Uh what is the logic here? Like um Well, there's got to be a number which goes here in this column, which uh, makes it all green. So let me just try everything in that spot until I find the one that works. Not seven. Nine. Okay, so there we go. Nine goes there. Um, I don't see any other... Oh, wait. Here's a row. This row needs uh, a number. Seven, apparently. So this column needs a number. Not that. Okay, it's eight. So this row needs a number. It's not five. It's not three. And it's not one. Oh, it's one. Okay. So this column needs a number. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to solve the puzzle. Um, random guessing is working, but it's probably not the way you're supposed to solve the puzzle. Okay, so three. Great. So this column needs a number. Okay, yeah, this is probably a math puzzle. It's not Sudoku. It is not Sudoku because um, we have nine numbers and um, six by six. Yeah, Sudoku is nine by nine, right? Voilà, ça Did it! Oh, yeah! Say, Marsh. Okay, let's use our magical polar upper. 
Use a magical polar upper, cause we know what to do. The only kind of pull with the polar polar upper is to pull it up with you. And now we can call Dr. Quigley. Uh, what was the number we're supposed to call her at? Allo, y'a quelqu'un? Allo? 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 Okay, so 18305. So, okay. I Give me just one moment here everybody. My computer screen just went black. Can you all see this? You can see what's happening, right? It's not my computer being strange. Okay, there we go. One. Then I go one eight. There we go. That's how we do it. One eight three oh five. Why did that reset everything? Okay, here we go. Channel eight is one eight three oh five now. That's Quigley. Je m'inquiétais pour vous. Votre campement est complètement démoli. Quelqu'un l'a pillé. Posez les valises. Venez ici. Où êtes-vous exactement Vous me trouverez au rocher de Foi. Ouah. La position exacte est nord. 4 heures. Par ouest. 5 degrés. 1 minute. Vous pourriez répéter N'oubliez pas d'apporter une... Docteur Kim Je vous entends à peine Pouvez-vous répéter ces coordonnées, s'il vous plaît Oh, j'ai rarement... Comme vous aussi. Terminé. Non, attendez Je ne sais toujours pas où vous êtes. Docteur Kim Ici Nancy Drew pour le Docteur Kim. Répondez, s'il vous plaît. Oh, génial. Tout ce que j'ai entendu, c'est rocher du toit droit, ou je ne sais quoi. Comment je vais pouvoir trouver où c'est Wow, Nancy is way more upset about that in uh, French than she is in English. Okay, so Dr. Kim said, hey, I'll meet you at Trout, Drout, uh, uh, to draw whatever ro the toy droid, uh, rock. Raw! I like that W-R-H-A-A. Raw! I am Nancy Drew. I will attack. Okay, so let's call, um, oh yeah, and also, uh, it's Quigley Kim. Her name is Quigley Kim. It said Quigley Kim over here in the note, in the case file. So, uh, Quigley has changed her name to Quigley and back again. It's good to know. So let's call the mysterious number on the note that was in her camp. I don't think this is gonna... Lifeworks Biotech? Dr. Kim? Vous appelez enfin. Lifeworks Biotech? Dr. Kim? You're finally calling? Non, je m'appelle Nancy Drew. Comment avez-vous eu ce numéro Eh bien, en fait... Allô Allô How did you get this number Oh, I got it at the... Oh, hey, what So, Nancy just got hung up on... It was not cool. I can't call Ned. Okay, so now we call Frank and Joe Hardy. They are the ones who will help Nancy figure out what that rock is called. Allô? Salut Joe, c'est Nancy. Salut Nancy, qu'est-ce qui se passe? Eh bien, une fois que j'ai pu obtenir de Big Island Mike les clés de la voiture que le Dr. Kim m'avait laissée, j'ai pris le volant. Waouh! Et qu'est-ce que le Dr. Kim a dit quand tu lui as annoncé que quelqu'un avait démoli son campement? Franchement, je ne sais même pas si elle m'a entendu. La liaison radio était vraiment très mauvaise. Elle m'a balancé les coordonnées de sa position actuelle pour que je puisse les entrer dans mon GPS. Mais... Tout ce que j'ai entendu, c'est 19 degrés 20 quelque chose. Je crois qu'elle a dit qu'elle était au rocher du toit droit. Mais je peux avoir mal entendu ça aussi. J'imagine que tu n'as pas une carte de l'île sur toi. Non, mais je vais garder l'œil ouvert. Je poserai peut-être même la question à Big Island Mike. J'attends toujours une opportunité d'aller fouiner dans son bureau. Bon, si tu trouves quelque chose, appelle-moi. N'oublie pas, 
Ce que le docteur Ski m'a dit ressemblait à rocher du toit droit. Le rocher du toit droit. Ok. Tu vas pouvoir revenir avec le pont dans cet état Non, mais ça ira. Ce pont est le cadet de mes soucis. Je te reparle plus tard, ok Salut. Ok, so Joe needs to figure out where the, um, the fancy thing is. Oh, and Joe also has a wallet because he can get Big Island bucks. Ok, so Joe... Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go, uh, looking for some shells. Because as, uh, as we kind of went over earlier, it can be hard to find shells. Oh, and it doesn't look like I can look for shells quite yet, so never mind. I'm just a liar. All right, so let's go to Big Island Mike, see if he knows where that rock is located. Hey, quad Hey, quad enough. Um, uh, here we go. This looks like it. The rock. Ça vous dit quelque chose, un endroit dans la jungle qui s'appellerait le rocher du toit droit ou un truc du genre? Jamais entendu parler. Et je connais cette île mieux que n'importe qui. Alors si je ne connais pas, croyez-moi, c'est que ça n'existe pas. I think he said I've never heard of it, and if I've never heard of it, it doesn't exist. Vous pourriez me réexpliquer votre système essayer et troquer? C'est ça. À la table de fabrication des colliers, il y a des... Now he's explaining about his money system with the Big Island Box. Yeah, make him a necklace, he'll give you Big Island Box, and then he'll sell the necklace for real money. This is a rip-off. This is a rip-off, Big Island Mike. The only thing big here is the rip-off. Okay, so now we can go hunting, hunting for those uh, seashells. And Big Island Mike used to be a sumo wrestler. My goodness. Yes, Big Island Mike has giant hands. Those, I mean, that hand is larger than his uh, notepad. Hmm, maybe not that large. I don't know. Those are those are some giant hands. They're larger than his entire head. Okay, talking about his daughter Pua, uh, Pua, saying, hey, she's a great surfer. Okay, okay, I remember this. Okay, so he's saying, I need to catch six Alua fish, and if I do that, then he's going to go off and go surfing himself. Um, okay. Partant. Et c'est quoi les houlois De gros poissons de récif, très bon à manger. Il se trouve que j'ai leur nourriture favorite. Juste là. Bon, dans ce cas, préparez-vous à aller faire un tour. Parce que je m'y mets. Alright, so basically we're going to get rid of him that way. Uh, by catching the fish so he can go into town and sell them. And then he's... Oh, un tremblement de terre Earthquake! Crazy. Yeah, no, we're gonna go fishing for him, then he's gonna go body surfing, he's probably gonna break the surfboard, because he's so gigantic, and that's it. We'll spy on his area when he's gone. So let's see, I click on an area to, s to not to surf, to fish. When it goes underneath the water, I click here and I pull. Okay, all I need is uh, five more and I'm done. Man, got one on my first try. Okay, let's just go looking for seashells though. I don't know why I'm looking for seashells. I'm just... I'm just a seashell sort of guy, apparently. I don't think there are ever any seashells here. Have I ever found any seashells down there in the back? 
I don't think so. Okay, so I need uh, three more of those little white shells, and then I'll be in business. I'll be able to make that one uh, necklace. And it will be beautiful. It will be lovely. It will be amazing. And there are no more shells here, so let's just go fishing again. Alright, people watching this live stream, anything you guys want me to talk about, this is probably going to take a while. At least a couple of minutes uh, just fishing. It's not a, a, a whatever fish, a lua. It's okay, Big Island Mike pays you for a uh, fish, so if you get the wrong type of fish, at least you get paid for it. You know, get paid for your time. Of course, if you want to go fishing on your own, you have to pay for bait with Big Island Bucks, and so the money you make from fishing might not even cover the amount for bait, and then you go home crying. There we go, two Alua fish. Oh hey, Zippy's bait. I see that. From Nancy Drew, uh, Secret of the Old Clock. That was the name of the gas station. It's cute. Somebody's asking if the Hardy Boys have the same voices as they did in the previous game. Uh, a last train to Blue Moon Canyon? Yep. Yep, same same voice actors for uh, the Hardy Boys in uh, both those games. Actually, ever since game 13, they've had the exact same two people do the Hardy Boys. Uh, yeah, the entire time. Somebody's asking what my favorite foreign game has been so far. This game's been pretty good so far. I liked the Curse of Blackmore Manor in Russian. I thought it was funny, because uh, they made a bunch of little changes, which I thought were cute. Like, uh, Linda the Werewolf just growled at Nancy. In English, she's just kind of quiet and says nothing, but in Russian, she's angry and growls at you. I also liked how the parrot, uh, they changed the parrot from a girl parrot to a male parrot. That was unexpected. Uh, least favorite of the foreign... Ah, oh, no. Least favorite of the foreign games marathon has probably been Tomb of the Lost Queen, simply because it was impossible for me to play. Uh, there were language puzzles, and so... Uh, word puzzles, and I can't spell things in Russian, so that basically kind of made playing the game impossible. If somebody has suggested I go back to that game and see if there's a hint meter, I think there's a hint meter at the bottom of the screen, which should help, maybe, kind of? So I'll have to try that out. I know there is a hint button at the bottom of the screen. I don't know if the hint button actually will give you the entire solution to that entire puzzle. If so, maybe I could go back and, and finish off that game. Close to finishing. Or not. La 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 I wonder if it makes a difference what area you fish in. Game never told us one way or the other, so I'm guessing it doesn't make that much of a difference. I could be wrong. That's a catfish. Hmm, getting some catfish here, Joe. Come to Papa! Mm, he's, he's thinking he's the father of these fish. That's, that's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. No, 
Okay, we've, we've got all six of those fish. Let me go hunting for shells one more time. There's one. It's kind of a shame that we have so many areas that we just walk. Uh, I mean... It's like I have to click three times, and none of those times can I find shells. Ooh, where am I on shell? Where is my shell face? That is not it. Two more. Two more, and then I'll be able to make my very special Hardy Boys necklace. Okay, got your fish, Mr. Mapu. Let's... Let's let's get your fish here. So, qu'est-ce que vous faites là? Vous devriez être en train de surfer. Foi dit que vous avez un don. Elle a dit ça? Oh, elle dit sûrement ça de tous ses élèves. Non, pas du tout. À vrai dire, je ne peux même pas répéter ce qu'elle dit de certains d'entre eux. Alors, vous avez aimé le tremblement de terre? Oh yeah, I totally felt the uh, earthquake. Ça fait monter l'adrénaline, ça c'est sûr. Quelque chose doit m'être empalé en colère. It's Pele. La déesse du feu hawaïenne. Elle habite dans le volcan. A Hawaiian goddess of the volcano. She must be angry. Furieuse. Elle envoie de la lave pour engloutir ses ennemis. Qui sont ses ennemis? Ceux qui font du mal à son île, ou ceux qui ne la respectent pas, ou simplement ceux qu'elle n'aime pas. Qui sait? Comparé à Pele, Kaneokala n'est qu'une mouche qui. Mais assez parlé de Pelé. Allez, dehors, vous êtes au paradis. Profitez-en. Vous vouliez que je trappe ces poissons Eh bien, voilà. Alors Eh, hey, bien joué. Je ne pensais pas que vous aviez le niveau pour ça. On dirait que je vais devoir faire le plein d'appât pour Oulua à partir de maintenant. Dites à Poua que dès que j'ai terminé ici, je vais à Hilo. La dernière fois que je l'ai vue, elle essayait d'apprendre le surf à Franck. Votre frère n'apprend pas vite. Hein. Bienvenue dans mon univers, monsieur Mapou. Bonne promenade. Okay, so. Il vous faut autre chose? Bon, je ferai mieux d'y aller. Le paradis m'attend. Amusez-vous. I don't know what happened there. I think I think that's what we need in order to get rid of him. Oh, there we go. Okay, so he takes off when our backs are turned. Okay, so now that he's gone, I can snoop around in his area. Big Island. Let's see, I could go here. Can I check out this other area? Okay, March 3rd. He's doing something with JK. I'm stealing that key, by the way. It's my key now. I can't read any of the stuff he's working on? That's not fair. Okay, so let's see. Map? Wait a minute! Three Finger Rock! That's probably what Nancy was talking about. I'm gonna give her the coordinates right now. Joe gets knocked out. Salut Nancy. In French. J'ai réussi à comprendre que le docteur Kim n'est pas au rocher du toit droit. C'est le rocher des trois doigts. Les coordonnées sont nord, 19 degrés, 24 heures, 42 minutes, par ouest, 155 degrés, 9 heures, 1 minute. Bon sang, qu'est-ce que je suis bon. Merci, Joe. <laughs> Nancy doesn't seem to really care about Joe. She's like, oh, sure, whatever, Joe. Thanks for the info. So what were those coordinates? I don't I don't have that memorized. 
Okay, 19, 24, 42. Let's get that. Let's get that. This game does not let that. Okay, nine. Um. Okay. Do I? Pre oh, okay. I, yeah, this is French. Okay. Nineteen twenty. Nineteen twenty-four Uh, on the French keyboard, you have to press the uh, shift button in order to get numbers. Learned that in a previous game. Okay, 15591. 15591. Game expects me to memorize both? 1559. One, what was it, 19, 42? There we go, got it. Cool, okay, and you can see it's three finger rock. They look more like toes to me, but whatever. We have weird noises in the forest, which could be monsters. They could be ghosts. They could be... I I don't know. I don't know what they are. And Nancy needs to get a sample of all this bug stuff uh, at some point, so I'll just get a sample as I walk by all of these bug things, okay? Save myself some time, not have to go back again. Ooh, bananas. Mmm. That is not the sound of Nancy going crazy. The sound of Nancy going crazy is raw. I think we already discussed that. Okay, and purple here. And here we go, everybody. Time to meet Dr. Kim. Bonjour. Vous êtes le Dr. Kim? It's like Big Island Mike sized fingers. Yep. Oui. Quel timing excellent. Nancy Drew, je présume? All right. Okay. Excellent timing. Nancy Drew, I presume. Yes. En personne. Can I ask you a question first? Uh, wait, what? Quoi? Laissez passer quoi? Au cas où vous n'auriez pas remarqué, j'étais complètement hors sujet. 
J'ai la très mauvaise habitude de m'éloigner du sujet. Alors à partir de maintenant, c'est votre job de m'obliger à rester concentré sur le travail. D'accord D'accord. Bien, alors, mettons nos travail, d'accord Où est la tablette Quelle tablette Je vous ai dit de m'apporter ma tablette. Quand nous avons parlé par radio... Okay, so, um, basically, uh, she told Nancy, don't let me talk too much. And where is my tablet? I told you to bring the tablet on the radio, but the radio was broken. Je n'entendais rien. La liaison était trop mauvaise. Je ne sais pas, Nancy. Je trouve qu'on ne part pas sur de bonnes bases. She said, I don't know, Nancy. That sounds like failure talk to me. Don't be such a failure, Nancy. You actually got to work at this job instead of, like, not work. Great, so Nancy just started the job and already she's in trouble. I don't know, Nancy. It's off to a pretty shaky start. I think that's what she sounds like in English. Okay, well, let's just go forward with whatever ca uh, Camp Quigley, whatever Dr. Quigley wants us to do. Let's just do it. It can't be that much work getting the uh, getting the clipboard, right? And at some point, we're gonna go to Capu Cave. The game has called it, right? Okay. There's the clipboard, but somebody ripped off the first page of the clipboard. You might have noticed. So Dr. Quigley's not gonna be happy. She had all her notes on the first page of the clipboard and no backup notes for some reason. Come on, Dr. Quiggs. Gotta work a little hard in that. Okay, run, 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 run to Dr. Quigley. Quigley? Can you come down here? Nancy, I asked you to get me my tablet. How did you screw up such an easy task? It's not my fault. A crazy monster destroyed your camp. A crazy monster? What you talking about, Nancy? Look, the game is called Creature of Kapu Cave. Some evil creature went to your camp and destroyed it, okay? Oh, okay, I guess that makes sense, Nancy. <laughs> and Amanda's asking a good question. Why would you rip the first page off of a clipboard? It's a clipboard. You can easily take off the whole first page. Well, that's life. Uh, the page was important, but not irreplaceable. All you have to do is collect and analyze all sorts of frass samples. Pretty good, right? What do you mean you don't know how to do that? Okay, so frass is insect poop. What you're going to do is take all the insect poop, analyze it all, and uh, that way we'll learn more about what the insects are up to. Look, everything's on the tablet. Just read it with all my notes. And I, I could be on the verge of a big discovery. We could be internationally famous! I could even become a movie star because of this. Oh man, it's gonna be great being a movie star and stuff because I collected insect poop. Well, actually, you did it. Oh, oh yeah, I guess I'm rambling. Okay, well, whatever. Just get to analyzing it. I'm gonna go up here and study some animals. Now look at my amazing legs one more time, Nancy. Nancy has to spend so much time looking at Dr. Quigley's legs. It's... whatever. Um... Yep, this is the puzzle. This is a puzzle. Right, okay. So I could solve most of the puzzle right now if I want to, because the answers are the same every single time, and if you already know what the answers are, you can simply just put them in. 
I don't think the game will accept it though. We'll try this. How's this? I'll try my the cheater method of uh, just putting in all the answers ahead of time. 108. Uh, five? Is that a five or an eight? I can't really see. There we go. Okay, it's an eight. And then 505. 04. 119. Nine. One oh five. As you can see, we're supposed to analyze um, six different samples. I think we collected four, so that's why we won't technically be able to solve this puzzle. We technically haven't gotten all the samples, and I'm pretty sure the game checks to make sure you got all the samples. Okay, so this is six. 50, 9, 105, and this one here is going to be 305. Brilliant. Okay. So some of these things are, uh, as you can see, a code for vegetation. So the one, uh, so vegetation code 10, that refers to myconia. So red was by myconia. And, and all those things. So the first row is just, hey, what were those samples nearby? What were the plants nearby? And then the other things are like, how much does it weigh? How many things are in it when you look under the microscope? And so we're going to uh, go to the uh, go to the camp and look under things at the microscope. How does bug poop connect to a movie star? I don't know. You'll have to ask Quigley why she went from bug poop to movie star. Anyway, microscope's broken. Nancy says, oh my gosh, it's broken. This is tragic. Who do I know that can fix microscopes? Who would have a spare microscope? Is there any scientist anywhere who would be able to help me? And the answer, of course, is yes! Dr. Craven will help if we solve another puzzle with him. So we're going back to Dr. Craven at the Hilly Hilly Healy Healy Research Center. It's not Hilly Hilly, because there aren't any hills here. Yeah, I'm here to see Dr. Craven. Hey, look, he'll totally let me in. Really, ask him if you don't believe me. We're like buddies. I know you're very busy, but I'd really appreciate a conversation. Our previous conversation was so amazing, and also, you're beautiful. I love your goatee. Well, thank you very much, young lady. Oh, you're welcome. Il me faut une lentille de microscope pour terminer le travail que le docteur Kim m'a donné. Mais la sienne est cassée. Vous n'en auriez pas une que je pourrais utiliser Bien sûr, mais je ne fais pas dans la charité ici. Si vous la voulez, vous allez devoir la gagner. Les plantes qui sont en bas ont besoin d'engrais. Mm, he's given us a plant puzzle, any. Comme si c'était fait. Bien, voici la clé de l'enceinte où se trouvent les plantes à fertiliser. N'essayez même pas. Okay, I need to fertilize the plants. Elles ont besoin d'engrais tout de suite. Si vous vous trompez, ça se verra tout de suite. Et inutile de préciser que j'en serai extrêmement contrarié. Compris. Ok, plant fertilization it is. Uh, let's see, where was it? Here. So some things will fertilize some plants and other things will not fertilize other plants. So that is, you know, it kills some plants and it 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 uh, doesn't kill others. You know, kills some plants and it brightens others. That's how it works. And what you're supposed to do is play around with this until you've figured it out. So uh, the correct solution, it looks like, is orange. Uh, two aqua and then green.
This is one of the simpler solutions, it looks like. And basically your goal is to make all of them bloom. You don't need to get them all bloom to super bloom. As you saw there, there are two levels of bloom. You only need to get them all to bloom. So if one or two or all of them is just one bloom instead of super bloom, totally counts, totally works. Cool. Finished. Fertilize your plants, bro. And is there anything else? The plants are indeed, uh, they, the plants are hungry and they want food. And Dr. Craven is indeed beautiful. Phone call? Dr. Craven, very mad at somebody who destroyed seedlings, uh, Fighterman, Feederman, whatever his name was. He's, he's fired. He's fired now. He's fired. He is fired, and he's probably never going to go home again. Uh, yeah, that poor, 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 poor man. Let's see, do I actually need to fix the fix this here first? Yep, and this is how we get to we can sort them too to get weights. And I I I, I already got the answers here. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see, what do I do now? I have no idea. I think I did it backwards. Okay, let's go back to Dr. Quigley. See if Dr. Quigley will accept my answers or not. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's repeating the joke I made in my original video walkthrough for this game. Fighterman? More like fired men. Fired man. He's fired. He's totally, his life is over now. He's, he's never going to get a job again. His kids are going to go home hungry. Quigley? Quigley? Quigley, need help yo. Fixed your thing. We're asking about the um, earthquake, I suppose. Then we're going to ask about Kane Okala. Yeah, maybe Kane Okala is the monster who destroyed her camp. He is a creature. Don't know what I have to do next to finish with her, so I think I might just have to call my buddy Frank and Joe, switch off with them. Hello. Frank? Salut, c'est Nancy. Hey, where's Joe? Uh, Joe is in the hospital because somebody smashed him on the head with a surfboard. Okay, 
Mais n'hésite pas si tu changes d'avis. Ok. Alors, comment tu vas J'essaie de comprendre si ce qui est arrivé à Joe n'est que de la malchance ou s'il y a anguille sur roche. Bon, si je peux faire quoi que ce soit pour toi, tu n'as qu'à demander. Ça marche. On se reparle plus tard. Salut So yeah, now we're playing as a Frank. And what is he gonna do? I don't know. Let's find more shells. I think I've got it. Yay, I've got it. Ooh, ooh, I've got it. Got enough shells to make that one necklace. And nowhere near enough shells to make any of the other necklaces. So I'm going to make this big necklace here because I like necklaces. They make me feel pretty. This is gonna give me four Big Island bucks, oh boy. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and now let's talk to Big Island Mike. How's your brother? He's still doing fine at the clinic? Oh, he's got a hard head, sir. <laughs> like I told the police, I have no idea what happened, so uh, don't blame me. If you want to play like a TV detective, feel free. I ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing on me, copper. I'm a good person. What's this? Uh, Davy, Davy something bought something for lots of money. Hey, Dave. Hey, what's with this receipt? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen it before. I swear. I don't know where it came from. Pretty sure it's not from the guy who attacked your brother. No. No, totally ain't from that guy. I tell ya. So can I sell my necklace to this this Big Island Mike? Big Island Mike. Where's my necklace money? Give me my necklace money. I no necklace money. Big Island Times, Big Island Crimes. Poor pineapples. Ooh. Alarm went off in the secret hilly hilly facility. Oh my. Oh my, that's not good. Sadly, I cannot take that uh, fancy, fancy, fancy boat. That's not a boat. It's a car. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Can we talk to Pua yet? Here she is. Hey, everybody, we're meeting a new character. Hey, Frank. Comment va Joe? What about Joe? I don't know. Il va bien. I know, I kind of have a hard time believing this girl is Big Island Mike's daughter. She looks absolutely nothing like him. For one thing, her hands are smaller than her face. Okay, let's just talk to her about everything. 30 Big Island bucks in order to go scuba diving? Oh, jeez. Okay, if I make you a necklace, will you give me Big Island bucks? Okay, so she pays me money. She pays me money for the Big Island things. Hey, can I go fishing? Ah oh, man, give me money for my fish. Okay, Do I have enough money to go scuba diving now? Probably not. Okay, 
She could be an adopted daughter. That is right. Uh, I mean, that might explain why she looks nothing like her father. I mean, she is in. Uh, I mean, it, it looks like she's in good shape, probably because she exercises and surfs all the time. Or because her dad eats all of the food in the house and there's really nothing, no no food for her left to eat. And so she, that, that sort of keeps her skinny. I'm, I'm not sure. What would you say? Okay, uh, she's saying she's a totally normal person. All she does is surf, surf, surf all day. She doesn't have, like, secret boyfriends or anything, which is very sad for Frank because he wants a secret girlfriend. I'm not exactly sure if Frank has a girlfriend in this uh, Nancy Drew series. They haven't really gone into that. He has a girlfriend in some of the books. Some of the books, his girlfriend is not dating him, and it's just kind of awkward that she's still hanging around. Okay, she's saying her grandpa saw Kane Okala shortly before Pearl Harbor was attacked. Therefore, Kane Okala is real and still causing problems today. Kind of a jump in logic there, but okay. Hey, what happened to your mom? She, she died 10 years ago, I think. And mom loved surfing. Surfing? Surfing! Surfing! Okay, cool. Whoa! Wow, uh, geez, that was a lot angrier in French than it was in English. Uh, Pua and Big Island Mike having Big Island problems. It's trouble on the Big Island. Yeah, wow, that was crazy angry fight. Uh, what happened? Pua? What just happened? Yeah, I think everybody around, I mean, everybody in the world within 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers heard. My dad it wants me to date a loser? Or she's saying her dad is such a loser. Man, Big Island Mike gets into a fight with his daughter and loses. Hey, comment ça va? Poor Mike. Okay, so let's talk to him. What What's up with this fight? Eh, it's just, just a, a little father-daughter fight. Hey, just forget about it. Forget about it. Hey, be quiet, dude. Sorry. Hey, sorry. I'm uh, I'm busy uh, counting up my money here. You're just going to have to leave me alone, eh? Because I ain't talking to you. I ain't saying nothing. You got nothing on me, bro. So I'm missing something here. I don't know quite what it is. Uh, there's something I have to do. Uh, I, I'm not able to progress until I do that. So... Uh, let's, I guess, I don't need to call that mystery person, do I? Yeah, I do. Let's call the mystery person. 
Hey, hey, welcome to Davy's uh, store. We uh, we uh, sell stuff and uh, it's a pawn shop, I believe. So he's checking up the uh, receipt that we got. Hey, who wants to know? Is this you? Uh, no, I, I, I just want to know. Okay, so a guy named Johnny Kudo. He's a rough guy. He's the guy who owns this locker. Or he's a freelance fighter. He doesn't have an address. He gave me a false address. And he gave me a fake phone number. And he's just not cool. So, yeah, let's talk about Johnny Kudo. So, Johnny Kudo, attack my bro. You can call him if you want, but uh, he's probably not going to respond. What do you mean he's freelance? Well, I mean, his lances don't cost a lot of money. Uh, you know, one costs two dollars, one costs three dollars. Not exactly free, but close enough. What kind of merchandise does he have? Ah, uh, just an ordinary cell phone and a PDA. Uh, the police want him for questioning. They don't like his habitudes. He's avoiding justice with a little bit of liquid. Uh, what? I, um, okay, so he got away from the police by throwing water in their faces, and that's why they want to go after him. Hey, did you know Johnny Kudo was uh, in the area of uh, Big Island Mike's immersion excursion? Well, the police, hey, look, the police, they had planks of wood that they were using to build a ladder so this guy could go to the top of the roof without risk, sans risque. So uh, I don't know why he gave him a chicken coop. Good luck. Okay. So, uh, somebody in the chat here says, uh, we could do the hazmat stuff at the Healy Healy. Let's go for it. Hello? Salut, Nancy. Salut, Franck. Qu'est-ce que tu fais de beau? Je me connais. Je suis à fond. À fond sur quoi? Ça va. Let's voilà. do it. Ah, et j'ai aussi sauvé les baleines et ramené la paix dans le monde. Mince. J'allais justement faire la paix dans le monde. Désolé. Toi, il faut que tu t'occupes des insectes. À plus, Franck. Okay, he said, thank you very much, Nancy. Have a good time. He basically let Nancy know what's going on. He didn't really find out information we needed to know, which is okay, because I don't know what information I need to know. So, it all works out. Let's go to Hilly Hilly. Let's see if we can do that, uh... That hazmat suit challenge. I know at some point we gotta figure out where Kapu Cave is. At some point... Okay. I think Mr. Okay, so at some point we do something which does something. Oh, those plants are all dead now. What happened to those poor plants? I went through all the work of saving them and stuff. Doc, okay, I can't do anything here at the Hilly Hilly Research Center. I don't think we have the uh, coordinates for Kapu Cave yet. Do oh yes we do. They're right here. Okay, nineteen twenty thirty. Okay, that's it. That's what we need. Okay. So let's do it. Let's go here. Why can I not look at those coordinates while I'm entering them? Why does the game hate me so much? <laughs> um, it really shouldn't be that difficult, should it? I'll just 
just write it down here real quick. So it's 19, 20, come on, 19, 20, 30, 155, 05, I think I entered that wrong, but let's go with it. Let's go with it. Okay. 19, 20, 30. Nineteen, twenty, thirty, one, five, five, oh, five, three, three. Grotte Kapu. Let's go there. We're at the Grotte Kapu. And that's where we can get the second, the last two samples, and then Dr. Quigley will like it. And somebody says, imagine if Dr. Craven was bald. I, okay. Let's imagine the world where, I don't see any insects here. Why are we collecting insect poop? Is there, I don't, whatever. Anyway, this is spider webs, man. Those are crazy. That's a puzzle which we can only solve uh, if we get the clue from Big Island Mike's because reasons. And now maybe we're uh, now maybe we've got all the information to uh, solve the puzzle, so we can give uh, our puzzle solution to Doctor Quigley. Yeah, that was a giant spider that left those webs. <laughs> One second here, I accidentally deleted this. Talking to her about Kapu Cave. Quigley, could you come down here? I got your I got your clipboard figured out. I'm finished with your tablet. Wait, no? No? What do you mean, no, Nancy? Okay. Try this again. No. Oh, why is this number not here? 10, 99, 12, 405, 8, 108. 8, 505, 4, 119, 9, 105, 11, 11, 44, 37, 3, 5, 505, 0, 305, 6, 150, 9, 105. Okay. I'm back. I didn't actually leave. Oh no! So what am I missing here? Why can I not argle-fump my way to solutions? Is it possible the solutions are different in English and in French? I don't think so. Let's go to uh, here. Blue for banana. Just double checking here. Blue was eight, and eight is bananier. Yeah, that sounds like banana to me. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, let's go back to Quigley's camp, see if there's anything I'm missing there. Because it looks like I'm stuck at this point. There's nothing I can talk to the doctor about. There's nothing I can talk to the other doctor about. I've uh, gone to Kapu Cave. I did everything with uh, Frank Hardy. So, uh, let's do this. Let's go back to Quigley, Quigley Camp, see if there's anything I missed. Oh, get the clipboard scanned. Oh, is that it? Okay. We did it. Okay, so we needed to get the clipboard analyzed. Fortunately, that thing can read Nancy's handwriting. Okay. Sure, let's go with that. That is a magic device which reads Nancy's handwriting, does the math to give a number to Dr. Dr. Quigley. And this is going to be the number of insect babies. It's going to give us the number of insect babies, I believe. And the number of insect babies is a very high number. So let's go with, uh, let's go with green. Let's go with green now. Whoa, this is green. Okay, Quigley. I think I'm done. Quigley? I think I'm done, Quigley. Hello? I'm finished. Finally. We're going to become celebrities now. Woo! So the idea is that the Norsa Beta Odorata larvae have been exploding. Huge population now, and nobody knows why. I think. Why is it? Like, like, insects don't magically, you know, ha suddenly turn into millions of insects. That doesn't happen unless something weird is going on. Oh, she wants a sample of the, the secret plants growing at Hilly Hilly, just in case that's what's causing the insects to uh, reproduce at such an amazing rate. So Nancy's going to have to break into the Hilly Hilly Research Center and steal their stuff because, I don't know, her boss just told her to do so. Her boss wants her to break the law. Okay, so let's do this. Now we should be able to break into the Healy Healy Research Center and, uh, you know, reach that top secret area. Yeah, so this time Nancy comes in through the front door instead of just running straight up to see Dr. Craven. And I think that's because Dr. Craven is sleepy sleepies. Yeah, he took his antihistamine and now he's sleepy. So I can rob him. Oh, and guess what? He had the answers all along. He was the guy who destroyed Quigley's camp and stole this. Dr. Craven is looking pretty culprity right now. Antihistamine will make you sleepy. Uh-oh. 
Tablet's kind of loud. Need to turn it off. Dude, this guy snores forever. Mute. Okay. Spiderman is here. He's Delequonk. So he is uh, 1466293. Okay, this one. So he's right four, left two, left seven, right four. Locker 13. So we're just going to break into his stuff and hope that they haven't changed the passwords yet. Right four, left two, left seven. Left seven. And right nine. Aw, oh, there's pictures of his kids. Pictures of his kids. Well, we're not going to look at those pictures. We're going to steal his uh, outfit that makes him look like a stormtrooper from Star Wars. They're spraying stuff all over these plants. Yeah, you can see these people, they totally look like stormtroopers. Stormtroopers wearing sunglasses. Hi, I'm gonna stay here and stare at you, sir. Hi. Hi. What is he doing? He's like reaching, oh, he's counting. I thought he was like trying to grab invisible things. Employee of the month. Aren't you a little young to be working at a place? Oh, say, okay, okay, security number. Security number was, um, 14667. Oh, whoops. 14, dash, dash. How do you do dash? Ah, uh, let's hope there are no dashes. 9-3. Cool. What's an expedition? Okay. Apparently there was an order from Aiken's Biotech, the same person that hired Frank and Joe to examine the surfer later. Uh, surfer lady. Surfer later, I don't even know what that means. Oh, somebody's saying they are not stormtroopers, they are actually yellow minions. Oh no. Oh no, they they can't be minions. Okay, so uh, Sir 21 is given to plants. So they're like mutant plants? I can't understand what you're talking about because you're speaking French, Nancy. Red alert! Red alert! Somebody's using a fired employee's number! Oh man! So red alert, everybody's on high alert. Nancy needs to find a way to escape without being caught by stormtroopers. I was gonna do like my stormtrooper voice, but I kind of like it better screaming in French. gonna be a challenge. This is Waverly. No sign of the intruder. Oh, I probably need to get a sample of that stuff too.
So what was the thing I need to, uh, uh need to get? It was, it was three, three, three. It's just outside the computer room. Pineapples. Gotcha. And then I'll escape. And then I'll escape. So I just need to sample this plant just to make sure it's not a mutant's evil plant that is going to destroy me and which is responsible for uh, the weird behavior with those bugs. Okay, so I got out. I am safe. I don't think I'm going to return the suit because I'm Nancy Drew. I'm just Nancy. You know what? I'm not going to return the suit I stole. Why would I do that? Okay, so, so let's go to Quigley Camp. I guess analyze the uh, stuff we just got. Oh, there's that weird murmuring. So how do I examine this? Under the microscope? Hmm. Oh, here we go. I examine it like this. And do I need to check samples from all the other things? I probably do. There we go. Okay. Give me just a second. We're trying to get the colors to match. Just one second here. Okay, guys, I hear the baby. Um, baby's crying, so gonna put an end to this. Come, come back later when the baby's asleep. And I'm back. Okay, so... Um... I forget what I'm doing. Am I, am I testing, like, I'm supposed to be testing out a bunch of different things, I think, right? Like, uh, different bags? No, 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 okay. Maybe I was just supposed to do the one test. The one test, the one test, and then go back to uh, Quigley. I don't know, I don't remember. If, <laughs> again, it's been several hours since I last played this game. Now it's, now it's, now it's getting close to my bedtime here. Well, it's obviously the baby's bedtime. I, I put the baby to sleep for the night. She, uh, she's gonna be asleep for the rest of the night. Should be. So let's see if I can get this game finished before I fall asleep. Okay, Quigley, please tell me, please tell me you like the information I got about the the plant stuff. Quigley? Je ne sais pas ce que mangent ces chenilles, mais ce n'est pas ce que le docteur Craven cultive à Hilly Hilly. Les échantillons ne correspondaient pas Non Qu'est-ce que je fais maintenant Bon, écoutez, ouvrez mon sac en bas, prenez le récipient d'échantillons de canopée que j'ai ramassé, et voyez si un de ceux-là correspond à l'échantillon d'excréments. Compris Compris Ok, so uh, they got tired of animating Quigley, so they just decided to have her be up in a tree <laughs> for that thing. Ok, cool. So I think Quigley now said, hey, test all the other frass samples, uh, see if anything matches. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I think that's it. I think that's it. I could be wrong. I'm just going back and forth between Camp Quigley and, uh, Quigley. <laughs> Okay, now let's just test all this other stuff. Uh, 
Come on, Argelfomp. Why is that not working? Okay. Maybe I already did blue. Let's try yellow. Maybe I'm supposed to put it somewhere else? Hmm. Anybody know off the top of their head what exactly we're supposed to be doing here? Uh, give me just one second. Da 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 Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it would have made sense if I was paying attention to uh, what Quigley said, but she was speaking in French, and so that's it's just something I can't do. Okay, remember to try the different larvae um, to examine. I hope to have... I have no idea what she's saying there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's try purple now. It's weird because when I pick this up, it's it turns. I mean, it turns to red. If I can only use red there. Uh oh, getting stuck, everybody. Getting stuck. See, I already saw that. Why is there an exclamation mark in Nancy's bag? Hmm, maybe I need to pick up new samples. I don't know. Gonna go over here to uh, Kapu Cave, see if there's something there. Was there just a box there? I didn't. Hmm. I don't see any samples here. Yeah, nothing to pick up there. Yeah, nobody seems to know what to do here. We're we're just gonna we're just gonna have to look up the solution. Okay, problem solved, everybody. Quigley has samples in her backpack, and we were supposed to grab the samples from her backpack. That's what she said. I just did not recognize the fact that she said the word backpack. So that's why I got thrown off. Okay, cool. So the puzzle, which is not actually supposed to be a puzzle, really, that's not supposed to be a puzzle. <laughs> um, we got through the puzzle, that's not supposed to be a puzzle. And uh, people are saying I should call the Hardy Boys here. Uh, I'll call them later. I, I don't think I need to call them quite yet. I forget which... I You know, I forget what... Um, causes Nancy to call the Hardy Boys. There's there's some sort of trigger. The game is made so uh, you, you can really switch over to the Hardy Boys uh, whenever you want here at this point. Okay, so Hibiscus, what are you? Not that. Mousteek? Mosquito, I presume? I think the answer is this one, actually. Cool. So we've solved... I guess I can test everything. There's no point in doing that because I've already found the match. But uh, let's go. Let's do this anyway. Yeah, so... Uh, got a couple of puzzles that uh, require, you know, something for Nancy to do and something for uh, the Hardy Boys to do. Uh, and they're, they're, these puzzles are all at Kapu Cave. 
So basically you'll reach the point where, you know, if you play as Nancy, eventually you'll get stuck because you need uh, the Hardys to solve their half, of the, their half of the puzzle. And if you play as the Hardys, you'll eventually get stuck because you need Nancy to solve her half of the puzzle. That's basically, uh, that's basically how the game works at this point. You can switch back and forth if you really, really want to, but I'm just going to stay here, play as Nancy, go until she gets stuck, and then switch to the Hardys. Quigley! Let us go! Oh, she says it's not possible that they're eating those uh, larvae because, well, I mean, why would there be so many larvae? Yep, and that's that's Quigley's question here. Glory and fortune are gonna have to wait, Nancy. We gotta figure out what's going on, and I'm gonna go up to think. Oh, by the way, Nancy, uh, I just remembered. I found some sort of metal thing, a Kapu cave, and I want you to have it because, um, uh, reasons. And there's the thing for Kapu cave. Great. And this will be exactly what I was talking about, okay? Nancy will get stuck, uh, unable to solve the puzzle without the clue from Frank or Joe, whichever one we're going to play as. So here's the nose thing, it's actually a giant nose ring. Yep, and the teeth are so crazy that we need to call Frank and Joe. They're the ones who know what to do in order to get through. Or something. Wow, that was a quick switch. Okay. So, how are the Hardys supposed to figure out about the, uh, the stuff? I don't know. Let's go to uh, Big Alan Mike, see if he's got stuff to say. Hey, comment ça va? Vous connaissez un certain Johnny Couteau? Jamais entendu parler. Vous avez déjà travaillé avec un certain Johnny Couteau? Ou peut-être qu'il a fait l'une de vos excursions? Pourquoi cette question? Je crois que ça pourrait être lui qui a assommé Joe. On joue à Kojak, hein? Eh bien, j'aurais aimé savoir quelque chose sur ce couteau, mais je ne le connais pas. Merci de votre aide. A plus. Okay, he's saying he has no idea who Johnny Couteau is. Okay, well, that's not very helpful. Hmm. Hey, Pua. What's up? Hey, comment ça va? Je ne sais pas trop comment vous annoncez ça. Je crois que votre père est impliqué dans quelque chose de. I think your dad's breaking the law here. What are you talking about? I think he's helping sell phony merchandise. What? Look, it's a long story, and I know you don't want to hear your dad accused without any proof whatsoever. But that's what I'm going to be doing here. Lava chimney. Her dad is doing something, I just don't know what. Yeah, it's my dad's cart. 
the letter. The problem is that I just don't know how to get into this top secret uh, lava tube area. Sorry, I don't. You, you have to uh, uh, scuba dive in order to get there. But if my dad is up to something illegal, then I want you to uh, tell me instead of telling the police. Tell me you won't get the police involved. Please don't make me hate taking you into confidence. Cool. So I think she's saying that this top secret letter is here. Or, or something. At some point, we, we do have a puzzle there to uh, open it up. Okay, running back here. Let's talk to Big Island Mike. How do we open up that? Uh, okay, this is it. He's asking how to open up that thing. I've got an idea. Hey, here you go. So I want to get myself a, a snow cone. So why don't you make me a snow cone, which is my favorite. And I'm going to charge you money to make me a snow cone. And if you solve the puzzle, then I'm going to tell you what the solution is. Thank you. Yeah, this was always such an unfair puzzle, because you have to guess randomly until you get it right, and he charges you one Big Island buck in order to do it. So, like, seriously, buddy. Okay, so, um... Okay, so I want mango. Coconut. And lime. I got it. You got it. Hey, buddy. Okay. So, in Hawaiian, we call that the Honiawa. And uh, that was the uh, solution to the puzzle. Awesome. Fantastic. Great times, everyone. Okay, so it was Honi Awa. Honi apostrophe A W A. Here's the letter. And it's got pictures of animals. Frank decides it's so crazy he's gonna call Nancy right away and tell her the sequence of animals. Because he's just a helpful guy that way. Oh yeah, there's no way I'll be able to know what those animals are. Um... Thanks, Nancy. Okay, well, let's do this. So, the animals were... I'm just going off the solution. It's a shark. It's um, turtle here. Stingray. Crab. And there we go. Let's do this. We've got it, everybody. What? Well, well, we're going right back to the Hardy Boys, but I wanted to solve the mystery and stuff. Frank, c'est Nancy. 
Well, like Frank just called Nancy less than a minute ago and he's already not at his phone? What is he doing? I'm gonna explore this place. Wish me luck. Okay, so let's do this. Let's explore. Wiki tiki. Wow, it feels like I've walked a sauna. It's a lava, and let me see. Oh gosh. How's Nancy supposed to get across without dying? That did not look like the sort of jump you could make safely without dying, Nancy. I guess I just don't know where Nancy's teeth are. I, I mean, feet are. Okay, pull that guy's tongue in order to get... Ow! Oh, did you just jump on the very corner, Nancy? No, no, you want to do a really long jump, so you land as close to the exit as possible. I mean, safety... I don't know. Whatever, we made it through. Here we have sounds of water. Water, and then wind. Water, wind, fire, and random clay pots with rocks. So I believe that is uh, the solution. Give me just one second here. Water, wind, fire, rocks. <coughs> Amazingly, that was the correct solution to the puzzle. Okay, so Nancy can go here to solve this puzzle. Okay. Okay, this puzzle you want to put everything in the correct order. Basically, you're telling a story. So this is number one, and then this is number two. Uh, the, the solution, or should I say the best way to get the solution is to realize, hey, the turtle is laying eggs, and then baby turtles come out. So if you solve the puzzle incorrectly, this thing goes down all the way at the beginning, and Nancy does not give these three seconds to jump and hide. She just gets immediately killed by the giant rolling Indiana Jones ball. Okay, let's just get this done as fast as we possibly can. Okay, Nancy gets a few seconds to dodge to the right to avoid being crushed to death. She needs that clue, otherwise she won't be able to figure it out on her own. Because, you know, not get crushed on your own? That's, that's, that's a puzzle too difficult for Nancy to figure out on her own. And yeah, no, this game totally turned into an Indiana Jones game. Anyway, I love how Frank's like, wait, so if those animals helped her, maybe, maybe those animals can help me. Cool. So that's going to be this, this next puzzle. Frank is going to have to figure out how to use the animals to help himself. Uh, well, while well, he goes uh, scuba diving, but he's only got ten. He does not have his thirty Big Island bucks. It is a tragedy. Okay, do I have enough, uh, 
the necklace box and the seashell box look exactly the same, and I, I, I find that annoying. Anyway, making this necklace. You can, in fact, make the other necklaces, kind of, maybe. It's difficult, but you can if you're really excited about doing it. Okay, if somebody's asking if there is any scene in any of the games that you've been disappointed in, I'm going to go with this game. I'm going to go with the ending scene. Um, explanation for uh, the culprit and the crimes don't make a whole lot of sense. I don't think... I messed it up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I think he said I got it right. What are you talking about, Frank, Joe, whoever you are? So it's funny, what you can do is you can buy these shells for making more necklaces. Or you can buy um, a thing to help you with uh, fishing. It makes the fishing go faster. I've only got 16. We can buy random stuff like uh, that. Or we can buy, uh, let's get some bait. Let's get some amazing bait. So, fishing. Oh, and let's get, uh, let's get our necklace money from her. Okay. Alright, so fishing again. This time hope to get like 30. It's like a gummy fish. It's delicious. Yeah, now I'm trying to remember the the uh, book that this game was based on. I cannot remember it at all. I know Nancy went to Hawaii and there was actually a surfing competition. Sabotage, it's a surfing competition. And there were a lot of deadly creatures. Like, uh, I think there was a snake attack. I seem to remember Nancy and her friends had to go onto a houseboat and explore it. I do not at all remember bugs. There were no, there was no insect doctor. There was no research facility. And since it's a Hawaii book, uh, there are probably volcanoes. There are probably volcanoes involved. Volcanoes and surfing that seems to show up every single time Nancy goes to Hawaii. You know, I. I, I to remember is a pretty good book. This game just has almost nothing in common with the book, besides for the fact that they both take place in Hawaii, and that's about it. So let's see, eight dollars. So I need to get twenty-two dollars off of this. Okay. I should probably be able to do the math in my head, but I cannot. So let's see, so uh, the fish on the left is one dollar, fish on the second from left is two dollars. Yeah, so two, four, so that's eight, so that's ten dollars right there. That gives me eighteen. That's probably the best way to do, to, the, uh, to do the count, is just say, how much money do I have now? I have 18. Oh, no. Oh, come on. And I lose my bait for that. So I have $18 in my pocket right now. Oh, and that's like a lot more than 18. That's good. So it gives me like 20. Yeah, I'll just probably just do all the, just use up all the bait. Oh, 
Oh wow, two of the big fish right in a row. I like it. So in the middle is where we get all the fish. All right, the big fish. I like it. Let's see if that's enough money. I got some fish for you. Can I go scuba diving now? Oh wow, we've got a magic bag which is waterproof so I can put all my stuff in it. Autre chose? Je repasse plus tard. Faites-moi signe quand vous voulez essayer de surfer. Cool. So now we can go uh, scuba diving. What we want to do while scuba diving is uh, give me just one second here. We want to go with the current and go follow the animals in the proper order. So it's going to be eel, shark, turtle, octopus, porcupine, fish, crab. Wow, that's a lot. And if you want, you can get more shells because, you know, shells. If there's one thing I want most, it's the ability to do more necklaces. Man, Frank would just be such a such a sad, lonely person if he just, you know, spent 30 Big Island bucks so he could make necklaces. So he could get more Big Island bucks. So this is an eel. Okay, so it was eel, right? Shark. We kind of have to follow the riptide here. Shark, turtle. You shark, turtle. Let me, uh... Okay, octopus, porcupine, fish, crab. Octopus. Whoa! Whoa! I assume this is a porcupine fish? Crab? Of course... Frank can't look at his inventory here because that would make this puzzle easy. Urchin and Manta Ray. Whoa. And there we go. We've got it. Okay. So, Frank has reached the underground tunnel. The lava tube. Which, coincidentally, is the exact same place where Nancy's at. And coincidentally arrives at the exact same time Nancy does. Well, can I climb up this? Yes, I can. Okay, so Frank climbs up. Climbs up here, maybe? Hmm. No, he walks around. And then climbs up here. Instead of following after Nancy, he just climbs up. And now he's on top. And I think this is it. I think this is an end game puzzle, maybe. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Frank is here. And he is going to press that button, which does something. And aha. Take a look, everybody. It's those insects. They are eating all sorts of things. So the insect population did not explode by accident. Our culprit purposely wanted there to be more insects. Because that's a crime.
carte. C'est quoi tout ça Une énorme, terrible erreur. Voilà ce que c'est. J'ai mis Pelé en colère. Papa, comment tu es entré ici J'ai fini par trouver une cheminée qui évite le tunnel principal. Quoi Vous m'avez suivi Il fallait que je trouve une autre entrée. Alors je vous ai laissé déchiffrer la carte et puis effectivement, je vous ai suivi. C'est fini, quoi. Je vais tout de suite me débarrasser de tout ça. Papa, non On est trop impliqués. Il faut aller jusqu'au bout maintenant. Une minute. Vous êtes impliqué dans... dans ce truc avec lui Il ferme ses portes. C'est à nous que revient le terrain sur lequel le centre est construit. Ce terrain, on pourrait alors le vendre à des promoteurs. Je me suis servi de Johnny Couteau pour voler des produits chimiques qui pousseraient les insectes à détruire les ananas. J'ai fait croire que Kane Okala était de retour. Pour que les gens évitent la jungle, ils ne voient pas nos épandages. On a répandu la rumeur que les ananas mouraient à cause de Hili Hili. Mon père doit beaucoup d'argent à des gens très peu recommandables. C'est pour ça qu'on a fait ça. Alors si vous pouviez ne pas parler de tout ça, tout ira bien. Non, Poua. Pelé a détruit le tunnel pour une raison. Elle nous disait d'arrêter. Non, Poua. Pelé a détruit le tunnel pour une raison. Elle nous disait d'arrêter. C'est Franck Non, Poua, c'est fini le tremblement de terre était un avertissement. Ce n'est pas bien. Et si on n'arrête pas, la prochaine fois, elle nous détruira. So, ah, tu vois So that's right. They... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't fall over, Bib Guy and Mike. You'll cause another earthquake. Frank, ça va Hey, Nancy. Euh, oui, je crois que ça va. Ça fait du bien de se retrouver sur la terre ferme quand même. And now Nancy is explaining the rules of this puzzle. Okay, so yeah, they they. Vite, Frank. Big Island Mike se dirige vers les autres escaliers. S'il arrive à la sortie avant toi, il va s'enfuir. They are the culprits because reasons. And yeah, poor Big Island Mike. His daughter just stares at him like he's an idiot the whole time. I don't think his daughter respects him anymore as a culprit. So this is kind of weird where you jump on, uh, you jump on rocks, you disappear and appear somewhere else. Your goal is to reach uh, this area. Let me highlight it. This area before Big Island Mike does. Well, that seemed to work. Yeah, this puzzle's kind of randomized. It's it's basically a random puzzle. Uh oh, Big Island Mike seems to be doing well. That's not good. Oh, <laughs> there's nowhere for Frank to go now. So I think. I think she said that her father owes a lot of money to some very bad people, and that's sort of why they're doing this. He owns a little bit of land, and he's trying to make the property value go up because of the Healy Healy Research Center. He's trying to blame them for everything, and now I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, jump back here, just to switch things up a little bit, in hopes that uh, that does something well. Perhaps I'm supposed to go down through the upper, upper right-hand corner. So where do they go when they drop into the blackness? I don't know. Oh, I was gonna jump down, but Big Island Mike got in my way. It's not cool, Big Island Mike. Yeah, so clearly I'm supposed to go along the bottom here. Because they're going through the top. Going through the top didn't work, but here, going through the bottom doesn't seem to work either. Um, yeah... There we go. Here we go. Got it. Okay, I'm at the bottom now.
And that leads me nowhere. I just get stuck at the bottom. Oh, oh, and now I'm in the middle. Wait, how am I supposed to escape this? I'm stuck at the bottom. Is there a way to second chance my way to safety? Uh, I mean, out of here? This is such an ending game sequence. Oh, come on, Big Island Mike. Why did you move me? That wasn't very nice. Yeah, Big Island Mike wins. Yeah, those guys are jerks. So this time I'm gonna try, I guess, here. Yeah, it seems kind of rare that there's, um, you know, alternate pathways, though. Okay, here I'm just gonna jump right in front of Big Island Mike, mess him up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, but that didn't mess him up at all. But this looks like an exit, right? A nice little exit pathway. Watch as it doesn't work at all. What could I do to make something appear in one of these two spots? Because that didn't work. This is a puzzle. It's very puzzling. I like how he makes a jump here and that makes something appear. I mean, he makes a jump all the way over to the left, somehow makes a piece appear like right, right towards the exit on the total opposite side of this area. Okay. Ah, he's found himself to the exit again. That was sarcasm. Vite, Frank! Big Island Mike se dirige vers les autres escaliers. S'il arrive à la sortie avant toi, il va s'enfuir. Yeah, what? Uh, I'm gonna keep my eye open. See if I can figure out any way to make uh <laughs> any way to make something appear in one of these two spots. Cause so far I haven't seen him anything show there. And without a without a, a boulder showing up there, there is literally no way Frank can jump to the exit. Okay, I can try jumping around in this upper right-hand corner, see if that does anything. Doesn't look like it. Is this just jumping around and hoping that Big Island Mike makes the makes the one that I need appear? Cause that would be that would be pretty awful.
Yeah, how did he do that? Why does he get to the exit? I really don't like those people. So this is just going to be the next 15 minutes. Yeah, this puzzle's totally rigged against uh, Nancy. So not fair. I guess technically you'd say it's rigged against Frank, because it's not Nancy who's playing the puzzle. Okay, let's just jump around this bottom area here. Hopefully that does something. And what does Big Island Mike do in order to uh, escape? He goes up to the top. And that's it. He just goes up to the top and it says, hey, you've got it. Too bad I can't change uh, to a uh, junior Test. mode here. That would be great. Vite, Frank. Big Island Mike se dirige vers les autres escaliers. S'il arrive à la sortie avant toi, il va s'enfuir. Ready. I should note, throughout this entire time, I've been hoping to see a, a, a rock go into one of these spots, and it has not. Maybe jumping backwards does something. Now I'm just stuck here. Just thrilling how this puzzle's random chance. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm gonna have Frank jump to Pua. I'm doing this. Oh, what is that? What even is that? Did you see that? Did you see that? That is cheating. That, that is straight up cheating. I had solved the puzzle and the game threw me to the top of the screen. Jumped from here to there. Unfair. Lies. Fake. I guess that's how the game programmed it to make sure nobody could possibly win that way. The game just 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 broke itself. Uh, okay, well let's just let's do this again. Yeah, this is rigged. That is that is fake rigged awful nonsense.
I might have to stop here. I'm still kind of mad about that. That is just... Hmm. Gosh, what if the, the thing I need to step on is this piece here? The one that Big Island Mike just made appear in the lower right-hand corner. Let's try that. I know he made that piece appear in the lower right hand corner. I don't think that was on purpose, but yeah, see, see, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the piece I'm looking for. That's, maybe that's the piece I need. Of course, it's gone now. Um... And he's, he's won. any idea I mean that was just my guess that was an exit I mean I don't even know if that was the way to actually solve the puzzle or not I'm just guessing at this point this game is rigged in French Okay, I'm gonna try that again, though. Oh, I can't reach that bottom area, though. Big Island Mike's not um, cooperating with me here. Pua just stands there watching us, silently judging. Like, maybe it... I just don't know. I can't even reach this bottom five area now. I don't... Oh, there we go. Here I am. I'm somewhere. This could be it. Okay, so what if I jump down here? Will that put me in this lower right-hand corner? It does, but putting me in that lower right-hand corner does nothing, actually. And Big Island Mike's got himself a Big Island exit. And he exits. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Um... This is... This is getting ridiculous. This is getting very ridiculous. Okay, I took a break and checked my uh, video walkthrough for this game. That didn't seem to help. Um, when I played the 2014 Mega Marathon, I jumped onto this square, which made this square appear. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's just a, a junior mode, a senior mode thing. But sure, yeah, I can try jumping onto that square. 
how do I make that square work? Somebody says this is the eighth try. Okay. Thank you for keeping track of my failures. Uh, in my original uh, video walkthrough, what happens is Big Island Mike just happens to jump into place, which makes one of the exit squares appear. And that's just... just pure chance. So I I'm not going to try to count on that happening again. Yeah, no, if this square is the trigger, how do I get it to appear? Yeah, it does look like this is just just a randomized puzzle and you just need to get lucky. And if you do not, you're just in sad, sad times like I am. Such a very strange puzzle. Just jump all around. Hoping not to fall into a big pit of lava. Even though there's no lava anywhere, so really there's nothing to worry about. Big on Mike, you're jumping in my area, buddy. Out of my way. Oh, there we go. Hey, guys. This, wasn't that the, the thing I just said? The tile I need to jump on? Let's see if I can get it. I just got rid of it. Okay. My mistake. So I need to jump. Apparently I need to jump here in order to make this tile appear so I can jump on it and get to victory. Okay, sure, let's do this. Let's say that's the solution to the puzzle. Dude, Big Island Mike, don't make me appear and disappear. Let's see, if I jump down like this. I don't see that makes that tile disappear though. So that's not good. But I've got an exit tile now. Take a look. I got an exit tile. I have no idea how I did that. That happened when I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay. Apparently the solution was to jump around in the area to the left until I somehow managed to make it to safety. Oh, got rid of my exit tile. <sighs> hey, where, what happened to that exit tile? It was here. You saw, right? There, there was an exit tile there. Yeah, well, I had an exit tile for a while there. I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah, the key word in that sentence was that was an exit. Well. Is this the magical tile that makes an exit tile appear for me? Nope. Yeah, the game really should just be nice to you and say, Hey, I see you failed five times in a row. Here's a win. Here's a win. Just throw the win in your face. But it does not. It goes with this. It goes with random. I bet Big Island Mike made my exit tile disappear. Because that seems like the kind of mean move he would do. Hmm. 
Yeah, a mercy rule would be great. Seriously, Big Island Mike. Okay, so by jumping there, he makes a bunch of rocks appear over here. They appear to be like, you know, they show up in some sort of diagonal. Nancy would have gotten this first try. Yeah, well, let, wait. Did I get moved from the bottom of the screen to the top again? Ooh, and there's an exit tile. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Guys, we've got a clear path to the exit now. Fingers crossed the game doesn't ruin this for me. It might. Okay. I'm holding my breath. <gasps> we did it. No, we haven't done it. Okay, I'm letting you people in the chat decide. Do I go for the top or the bottom? Which one do I go for? Top one or bottom one? Because I've got two possible answers, and I'm scared that one answer is wrong and one answer is right. So, okay. Too much pressure. Come on, people. People, you have to tell me. Do, do I go for the top or the bottom one when trying to reach the exit here? People are saying, oh my gosh, do it. Big Island Mike has a ponytail. Okay, we've got a bottom. Top, top, bottom, top, top, top. Everybody goes top. Okay, top wins. We'll go with top. It wins. We did it. Big Island Mike et Pua ont finalement pu s'en sortir indemnes. Et nous avons tous pu sortir de la grotte par la cheminée découverte par Mike. Lui et Pua se sont rendus immédiatement, ce qui est tout à leur honneur, même s'il a fallu un certain temps pour que les autorités sachent de quoi... Now we get the explanation of what happened in this game. In French. Dans la capacité de payer les usures... So it took me eight tries to get that puzzle. Big Island Mike s'est souvenu de... Ok. Le terrain du centre de recherche Hilly Hilly... Yeah, like I said, there was some sort of property um, dispute, apparently. And somebody voted for her. Now I'm getting a bunch of people voting for me to, to to go to the bottom route. No, no, sorry guys, I won. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not reloading. I'm not doing this again. Okay, so they were purposely uh, trying to destroy the pineapple crop to blame Healy Healy. They were trying to destroy it with that uh, stuff. Which had the unfortunate effect of making those uh, insects go wild and crazy. Habituellement inoffensif. Pour réduire les risques d'être vus, les Mapous ont répandu la rumeur que Kane et Okala rôdaient à nouveau dans l'île. Ils ont ensuite répandu leurs produits chimiques, ce qui a causé une invasion de coléoptères fritillaires. Le docteur Keane a fini par comprendre que le murmure bizarre provenait des coléoptères qui frottaient leurs pattes lors d'une sorte de rituel. Les larves de coléoptères, qui sont pratiquement microscopiques, <laughs> Big Island Mike needs an island jail just to fit himself inside? Oh, come on, he's, he's not that big. Although I find it hard that he would be able to fit in a jail cell with somebody else. He'd probably try to force all the other, uh, other inmates to give him fake money. Meanwhile, Dr. Craven was a character in this game. He spent the first half of the game yelling and the second half of the game asleep. Yeah, their evil plans did not stop us and we had a great Hawaiian vacation. Even if I uh, spent a lot of time with with insects and I spent the rest of the time cleaning off insect poop lots 
and lots of insect poop. I like how in French it's just just straight up insect excrement, insect poop. And in, in English, there's a different word for it. She said frass. Okay, and I win the For Me Award because I accomplished all the somethings of etymology very quickly. So I, I solved the etymology puzzle quickly because I cheated. And I had the answer written down ahead of time. Ils sont venus profiter des joies des sports d'hiver comme le patinage, le ski de fond et les raquettes. In the next game, uh, Nancy goes to Icicle Creek Lodge, where there's a wolf, and it's cold. Ooh, hi, wolf. Aide-moi à le découvrir dans ma prochaine aventure, le loup blanc de la crique des glaces. The White Wolf of the Glass Creek. Cool. Uh, I, Icicle Creek, right? Icicle Creek, whatever it is. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me fail on that puzzle over and over and over again. Yep. Over and over and over and over again that was seven overs right because the eighth time i won yay i did like playing white wolf of icicle creek on the wii the snowball fight was good uh you could skip through conversations that was kind of cool problem was the game took like two to five seconds to load and every single screen so if you take one step loading take one step loading and it was just constant loading and it made it very sad i i was very sad about that okay so these are all the people who did all the various voices did a good job now let's just see the credits for the french people might as well show all their credits right yeah the cooking was kind of fun i think i seem to remember i failed at the cooking in white wolf of icicle creek in both versions of the game, both Wii and uh, PC. La 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 la. And we're finished with the uh, the ending credits. Nancy Drew, Creature of Kapu Cave, developed using DirectX and C++. We did not translate this into French, did we? We did not. We did not even try. And distributed in French through a micro-application. One thing, this game comes on two CDs. It's like CD-ROM no 2, and I was like, wait, cd rom -in? What? And I guess I was hungry when I when I was trying to read the CDs. Yeah, you, you need to put in the CDs in a specific order, and it was kind of hard to install because it was in French, but I managed to figure it out, so hooray! So, for the game... Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, two more games left in the uh, the uh, Nancy Drew foreign Nancy Drew game marathon, right? Woohoo!